Okay, um, some uh, additional uh, factors, types. Um, now, um, the uh, major types are, are the mandatory and discretionary access control. Of course, if, uh, you know, if it's not mandatory, it's discretionary. That's, you know, basically... Um, a division. It's it's going to be kind of binary. It's either one or the other. Um, the the different types that we are looking at here are not that same dichotomy. Um, even though uh, some of the the names and naming conventions um, would would seem to say that yeah, there is uh, this division. Um, that is that is not the case. Um, so we've got um, rule-based access control. Now, uh, most systems that you are going to see are based on certain rules, even if the rule is only look it up in the access control list. Uh, you know, a uh, a mandatory access control system is going to be rules based you know is there a match between the sensitivity of the information the sensitivity label that's applied to the information and the clearance of the user that's requesting access you know so there's the rule is there a match um, so you know rule based just looks like you know are there specific rules that are going to be used to determine uh, the access control. And in, in most cases, that that is correct. But there, there are going to be uh, certain other types. Uh, admittedly rare. But, you know, so, anyways. Is it rules-based or is it not? Um, now, then we get to role-based access control. And, and here, uh, very often, you know, we've, we've done mandatory and discretionary access control. Now we've got rule-based and role-based discretionary access control. And people say, okay, you know, uh, is this a dichotomy situation? No, it's not. Role-based um, can be handled uh, by a rule-based system. For example, the aforementioned access control list. You know, okay, look it up on the list. Um, now, role-based says we are going to give you access depending upon what it is that you do. What What is your job? What is your function? Uh, therefore, should you have access to this particular resource? And the... Uh, your, your job, your role in the organization uh, determines that. Now, we have that when we uh, have access control lists in terms of groups in the access control list. So we have a group, and if your job uh, makes you belong to this group, then you have access to those resources. So, you know, an access control list is rule-based, but it can also be rule-based. So it's not uh, a dichotomy situation. It's just another way of describing uh, different types of, you know, how do, how do we divide it up? And, um, now this, uh, for many years, uh, people did think that there was a dichotomy because the people who originally published the uh, uh, description of mandatory access control systems um, did their description on the basis of the the jobs and the roles in the organization. That um, if you had a certain job that gave you a certain level of clearance and therefore a mandatory access control system uh, from their perspective would uh, uh, look at your job uh, look at the clearance requirements, make the decision on the sensitivity of the information, are you, um, you know, does your job give you access? 
uh, subsequently, um, people implemented mandatory access control systems in other ways where the job was not the sole divider. And so role-based access control was confused for many years uh, with mandatory access control. And people um, looked at those uh, uh, terms and didn't make a distinction between them. Um, at any rate, uh, you know, do uh, look at these as uh, possibilities, but not necessarily the, uh, uh, the sole determining factor. Now we've got other uh, possible uh, types of access control. Um, we could have uh, content dependent access control. And uh, this, of course, um, could, could have to do with certain easily identifiable types of content, uh, but it could also be based on certain sensitivity labels. Uh, and so, in a sense, a mandatory access control system based on, on the content, whichever way we, we deal with it. Uh, there is the constrained user interface. Yes, you have access to this database, but we're blocking out certain fields so that you uh, aren't seeing information, sensitive information that you shouldn't have access to. Uh, again, this is uh, possibly uh, a mandatory access control system um, based on uh, the fields that are allowed to you. And then there's temporal or time-based uh, access control, which may see, say, okay, there are certain time periods when you do have access to this and times when you don't. Uh, this may have to do with, you know, who is allowed uh, access and, and these people uh, only work certain, during certain times. Um, it may vary uh, in terms of date uh, because, of course, the, the value of the information may change. So, other, other additional factors in terms of uh, various types of access control, which you may deal with from time to time.